The replacement of the Boeing 757 is a very hot topic, particularly since Airbus has been making strides with the A321LR and with the upcoming XLR variant. Until then, Boeing has remained quiet, occasionally being more open at places such as the Singapore Air Show, where they acknowledged that evaluations were underway. The issue for Boeing has always been trying to figure out not only where and how big the market might be, but whether the market exists at all. You see, Boeing has pointed out that the apparent gap in the market is between the 737 MAX 9 and the smaller 787-8 Dreamliner. But that doesn't necessarily create a strong enough argument amongst the 757, particularly where the long-reach use of the 757 is in the niche market. But the fact is, there's no business case to support the maxing of the 757, as Boeing seems to be happy with the success of the aircraft and also the lineup of the 787 and the 737 MAX. Now, based on the customer feedback that they received at the time, the ideal plane should be larger than the 757 and it should have greater range, simply speaking. But this isn't necessarily an issue of just upgrading the engines, the avionics, the flight systems and etc. It's actually a far deeper reason. Boeing won't be studying the 757 re-engine replacement because simply, it just doesn't work. The airplane had a very unique production system and it was relatively expensive to build compared to the 737 and the business case is just not going to close. Now Boeing has pointed out the apparent gap on the seating chart between the 737 MAX 9 and the 787-8 and it doesn't necessarily create a case for a new program particularly when the long-range use of the 757 is distinct. The 757 was built on the same production line as the 737, but due to the plane being longer and bigger, it didn't fit right and it needed different tools. So Boeing moved onwards with a new design, one that could be built on a different production line and have all of the upgrades derived from the Boeing 787 program. Now for airlines, the A321LR fits seamlessly into existing A320 fleets, easy crew management and maintenance costs and even bigger so for those airlines that operate only the A320s but want a low risk expansion of their niche market. For Airbus and their suppliers, the A321LR rolls off an existing high volume production line, lowering their production costs and making it cheaper when it comes to the time of selling. The 757 MAX on the other hand would need an entirely new investment by Boeing and suppliers in engines and tooling for a low volume production line and it's still going to be a different type to the other aircraft in the airline's fleet, different spares and maintenance for example. It may have worked if it weren't for the A321LR. It is worth explaining though that the A321LR is not a 757, but Airbus are sure passing it off as one. I realize fuel economy is the driver, but the sheer performance of the 757 is far superior. It has a better short field takeoff and stopping capabilities and high altitude performance. If the A321LR can't fly into and take off from short runways with a full load of passengers and cargo, well, unfortunately, it's not a 757. The A321 can't do that, and the Neo won't be able to do it because the wing is the limiting factor. But that doesn't mean to say that Airbus hasn't got the one up on Boeing at this moment in time. So at the end of the day, it's a clear example of a niche market, as Airbus got there first and Boeing has been effectively left with a choice of developing a rival vanity product, which is almost certain to never produce a positive commercial return, or else staying out of the segment and leaving Airbus to mop up. Neither option sounds great for Boeing, but the reality is, is that Airbus has taken the initiative. The good news is, is that Boeing is currently conducting their studies on the NMA, so hopefully we'll be seeing the next generation of the 757 in a few years time. Thank you so much for watching, do share your thoughts in the comments below and I'll catch you guys in the next video.